Hello and welcome back under the dome. Welcome back to Encase and playing hardball. We are sneaking around here in the mainframe of Magellan Base because the Metzki, this boss of the Phalanx, asked us to get the database, the employee database. And we found out that here in mainframe 3C things look good. We used the password we acquired before. And then let's check out what they have in store here. And then we found that we can look through the files, we can cover curious detail, and most official documentation employees are identified by their numbers. The larger part of the hard disk is occupied by some sort of database. So let's download and encrypt the database using a virus. So I don't know what the repercussions are, and maybe uh, this Simetsky guy finds out that we have man manipulated this one. I would actually expect so. But at the same time, I think he's probably one of the meanest characters. And while he seems nice, I think there's something very creepy about the guy. Um, and he certainly doesn't have the best intentions. So, I mean, why would he want to know about all the people, right? So there's something, something is off. So let's encrypt the database. We download the database, but infected with malware that encrypts the contents without any possibility of decryption. Good. Download the new community de employee database, but modified so it's useless. Now it shouldn't look evidently like it's useless, so let's do it like this. Although I'm a bit confused, we already have, I thought we downloaded it already. Do it like this, we are, we are waiting for the download to finish. We remove the po floppy, the program closes and you, re you return to the main terminal. Log out, hey, yeah, what, did that work now or what? New committee employee database. This extra capacious diskette contains the database of all the new committee employees which you stole from the mainframe. Huh? Is that correct? It was supposed to be... It was supposed to be encrypted, isn't it? Let me just try that again. So it's something is weird. Maybe we've got a bug, and there is not there. They didn't in, implement the correct uh, result or something. So again, password. Checking the storage. What if I click here, download? You're waiting for the download to finish. No. Hmm. Now that's a bit weird. Or maybe we need to end the the conversation or something. the password storage and then download and encrypt the database using a virus so why can't we get out of here I think it's a bug well what's going on here not only that my computer is not working correctly with these Nvidia graphic driver updates lately that mess up everything I don't want to modify it because I think that's wrong. I think there's a there's a mistake here. Look out, maybe or is it? Staff reserve, you have a floppy disk. Hmm. I think there's a problem here. Let me reload again. Can we actually maybe find something else? So I, I don't want to uh, manipulate it in that way. Okay, no. They are difficult to ascertain what kind of information. Okay. I think there's a problem. Storage. Remote to access employees' computers. This, yeah. Read. No, okay, nothing. I'm just looking for the uh, for the database. What is stored on this mainframe contains data about the geographical objects of the dome. 
look inside the mainframe. You wonder how long ago this game of Tic Tac Toe was started. Oh yeah, well, we are not interested in that. And if we were to play computer games, then we would choose something more complex. For example, in case, or even better, look at X3, guys and gals. That's an excellent game. And I really love Encase. I mean, obviously, they, these are different games. And here there's nothing. Enter storage. Incomprehensible logs. Okay, well, maybe we need to get out of here and stop sneaking or something. Didn't it work before? I th I'm rather sure it worked before. We had the floppy disk. Oh no, could it be? Could it be that, um, well, maybe I should load it. Like the auto save, that is when. Yeah, well. Like that's the military post and we are here in administration. What did we do in the military? Or maybe the other quick save or something. Yeah, no, that's not right. We don't want to be in jail. Or this one. So I'm fairly certain that there's something wrong. Maybe it's because I went out of the uh, choices and saved the game. So here. Enter the password. Enter storage. Download and encrypt the database using a virus. No, now it's still like this. Download the date, the employee database. Okay, waiting for the download to finish. Program closes. Hmm. That's a bit weird, but maybe it's also a thing that if this is the manipulated thing, and. Uh, this was the original one or something. Well, we I guess we are not gonna find out. The other game. Uh, I think this was yeah, okay, let's try this one. Sorry for the confu confusion. But you know the all my let's plays, you know, it's never manipulated, it's uncut gameplay. Unless something crashes, of course. Yeah, so let's go in here. So we've not fumbled around with anything in this save. Mainframe. Password. Under storage. Insert Zemetsky's floppy disk and see what happens. Yeah. We insert the floppy disk. The program reports that the target database has been found and starts copying it. It works busily. We glimpse the tables open on the screen. This seems to be the exact new committee employee database that Zemetsky needs. Download and encrypt the database using a virus. We download the database by infected with malware that encrypts the contents without any possibility of decryption. Well then, then download it. We remove the floppy, the program closes, and we return to the main terminal menu and log out. Hmm. The extra capacious scat contains the database of all the new committee employees which we stole from the mainframe at the Magellan uh, station. Well, okay, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. So I'm saving the game. So I guess it's fine. So now we need to um, get back to Carmen Heights. I wanted to replace Fox with a. Uh, With a cheerful Jack. Oh, he's got something. Okay, what's that? McDowell's terminal password. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's have this Turing auto hacker just in case. Oh, and by the way, he has quite some electrical equipment. Yeah, he, he won't miss that, right? So, we the math master thief. And by the way, where are you guys? Are oh, you are there? Um. Well. 
I was thinking about about breaking into the vending machine. But actually, let's not do that right now. Activating stealth. Oh, hey guys. Well, you have a good time there. Very good. Do you have a banana? Well, no, it's your knife. Okay, then. So let's check out Fox's stuff. So she's got the isolator engineer gloves. These are work gloves. Ah, oh, this is hand to hand, yeah. How unfortunate. So we don't have anything else that is melee. Because I wanted to give this one here to um yeah, well then then we have to take it away from you. Sorry about that, Fox. But these gloves are for cheerful Jack now. And then she needs to give back all the stuff here. There. So cheerful Jack has an easier way of learning things. Yeah, and you can keep this the six. That's fine. And otherwise you can actually keep everything. Except for the engineer's cap. And the backpack actually. Yeah, we've not seen any backpacks in a while, by the way. But it's fine. And, well, the worker's belt with two relic slots. We don't have any other belts, right? Oh, yeah, actually, no, we don't. This here's the soldier's belt. Um, oh, well, you can keep the, the worker's belt, actually. So that... So, Fox, Two we actually need unblinking eyes sparkle at you through the mask's slots. Yeah. Yeah, well, Fox, you know, we need Jack on the, the team. Fox hunches over a bit and quietly hisses. I will be at the arena. That's good to know. We'll she pick you up later. Yeah, don't take it personally. So there. Hey, Jack. There you go, eh, Jack? Jack What's gives up? you an inquiring look. So, you came for an autograph after all, huh? No? Well, what do you want? Well, come Jack on. Hesitates, but it seems to be yeah, wow. yeah, so everything's fine. Just play your game, but let's get going now, so. And let's go here. And let's get out of here and be quick about it. There. Let's go to uh, well, the residential area. Once more. Just quickly. And Floor then I'm level going to check five. up Living quarters. with him. Yeah, so, ah, oh yeah, well, he has the other stuff, alright. So you can, you can wear the engineers. Uh, and you get the isolator engineer's gloves. Oh, although, well, actually, that doesn't really matter too much. It's got the other ones. Yeah, well, I can't keep up uh, remembering what, what all the stuff, what they have, um, without really looking at them. So where's the backpack? Open your eyes and you shall see. Where's the other backpack? There. And then you get the soldiers belt where is it here which also gives you a little bit more initiative excellent and then uh, what is by the way what's your defense here so you've got energy resistance everything is 35 at least except for psychic resistance so that's actually not so bad um we could do biochem is also 35 the protective mask of oh, this year for 15 now oh, let's have this one yeah for him and then the big question is do we get more learnability out of him it's at 100 we give this here which would be better 
Yeah, it's better. Okay. Also, with more defense, that's all right. So, and then, um, yeah, well, I mean, you are our charismatic guy, but on the other hand, like, you are not the leader, so you can put this one here into your spine. And then you do this one here, we get some charisma back. And more perception. Although, actually, like, the perception... It's actually better on Yoko, we have to be honest. There. And Yoko can actually have this one, yeah. Her learnability is 119, okay. And then you get all these pins. Although it's not so super for you. And your initiative, but what should we do, right? You need to learn something, so... As much as possible. 107, all right. Attention. And this is how we can roll. Um, and I even think we should probably upgrade Mr. Hammer for once. Upgrade weapon. And we don't have enough polymetallic ore, I think. But let's look. Let's look into our chest and our stuff. Try not to ruin the servos. They are the weak point. Yeah, thanks for the advice. The woman's planning, as they say, right? So, um, that's components. Good news is we actually have some. So let's do this. Also, not that uh, cheerful Jack feels that we are neglecting him or anything. Oh yeah, the O. Oh. Before there, it looks like a smiley. It's a rock hammer, the most common variety. Cheerful Jack took it out of his trailer before heading out on a journey with uh, with us during our travels. Jack's trusty hammer had grown spikes and got a comfortable rubber handle. Yeah, and only the Im immutable smiley face grins maliciously all the same. Oh, yeah, it's still there. Okay, yeah. Well, let's do this. One weapon re repair kit. There. And now we need one more weapon repair kit. Can we make it here? Craft window. Um, weapon parts. And by the way, we should actually sneak. And then let's get the stuff to make it, because then we also get some more experience. So all of these, well, actually just one. This here, one. Um, what else was it? Weapon parts and some spare parts, right? Like that. What are we missing? Plastics, okay. Otherwise, we are actually good. Just some plastics, and we have lots of them. All the plastic trash that we've been collecting 292. Now that's too much. There. Weapon repair kit. Craft one. There you go. Inventory. Cheerful. Show your hammer. Upgrade. Oh, and we don't have the melee weapons technical manual, of course. Um, yeah, well. That's actually less than ideal. But I guess that was one of the reasons why I didn't do that. But well, we can also upgrade the Shiroyama. Let's do that, actually. What does it change? Nothing really. Oh, well, it does. Like, eight, eight points more damage. Heavy weapon manual. Yeah. And this is our high-tech supernova. 
Yeah, well, let's do the Shiroyama then. Upgrade to seven. Oh, yeah, wow. Now it's that one looks like a huge blaster then. The next... Oh, the next one would be particularly useful, actually. Evasion is only minus 10 then. Initiative only minus 3. Way more damage and, most importantly, a way longer range. Akira's Shiroyama rifle is almost unrecognizable in this huge imposing gun. Perhaps the only thing that... Uh, things that remain from the original design are the muzzle brake and the unusual stock. Well, she's a robot girl after all, huh? So actually, I think five CP, uh, five dead CPS. Well, we could do this. We just need to make another repair kit. So let's get everything. Let's get everything. Let's do a little bit of uh, building here. There, all of this. Pile of crystals. Screws, um, glue, spare parts, and weapon components, and also fiber optic. There you go. And I think some electrical equipment won't hurt either. We need it here, these. The dead CPS. Yeah, and then I guess we are fine and well. Actually, now that we are at it, let's let's make some. Oh no, we can't do that. We need the um, the workbench for that. But we could do it in, in, within uh, inside Ursula. We should do that actually. But I'm not, also not sure if Cheerful Jack is actually happy if we create stuff because he's a mechanic. But well, also, what about the Grease? Grease, show yourself. Oh yeah, we've got six, all right. And this here. Yeah, so we can craft one, two, three. And then we are out of weapon parts. Okay. Why not for experience? And then Yoko upgrade weapon. And we can do this. Five kilograms, yeah. So that's like really significant there. Bam. Next one is not possible. Twenty-five spare parts, wow. And an active one. But what does it change? seven more damage okay well but i feel like level eight is already pretty good like really good all right so shiroyama yeah well then let's put this stuff back and uh, no. all like this no need to uh, carry around so much stuff. There, uh, that was not enough. I only want to have three of all, uh, every kind carry around. Also because we, it's, it just adds up so much. Well, we do have a lot of spare parts though. This is fine. Here, these cleaning rods. That one. Two. Electrical equipment. Yeah, let's keep two. And well, this one here is rather heavy, so let's only have one. Just in case. The crystals. Keeping three. Keeping five of this polymetallic ore. Where are these weapon parts like that? And there are that stolen. Okay, well, why didn't we use the stolen stuff first? I wonder. But well, so and now we are good. We don't have any use up CPS anymore though. Only the live ones. But I guess it was worth it. So, then 
I think we are good to go now here. The glue. There, check, check. Not too much of anything. Ten nails is okay. Oh yeah, well, there's one here. One is left. And maybe... Let's put five nails away. So... And we have psionic weapons manual, high tech, one, five hand to hand. Heavy weapons is one left and light weapons, technical is two, all right. Good, so. That means we are good to go. Checking our inventory one last time. Everything has been put where it is supposed to be, very good. Saving the game and then we are good to go. And actually we don't need to sneak around. Or actually, um, how's our sleep? Oh yeah, we are really good. This is 23, but we could actually eat something. Homely comfort. And let's eat. Yeah, well, I guess we are slurping some fried cockroach eggs. 175 fried red eye we have another one and one cockroach eye that we are sucking out hmm there another one well and another one there and then we can flush it down with some water from the tap some tap water all right good and let's fill up just in case, because this will be a longer expedition again, uh, driving down there to come and hide. So we've got the fried red eyes. It's a three, so we have six. Two more fried cockroach eyes, uh, eggs. And we replace two of our cockroach eyes. All right. And we don't need so many potatoes, maybe let's keep two and put one egg away. Yeah, so we've got so much food. It's really going very well. We can even share it with anybody who's in need. Do we actually get experience by eating it? No, we didn't. No. Do you have any documents for this servo shell? We are not even looking at this lady. So. Or was she talking about the manual? So let's go to the hall. Would be well. The question would be: Should Floor we also level, inform uh, the lady here, Ukuyama, what's her name, um, that the Semeki's character wants wanted the um, list? But then she might want to put a huge virus in there or something. There you go. Well, and we are a bit nauseous, right? Let's use the bathroom and then washing our hands. Thoroughly, we are, we are vigorous. Scan food. Yes, yeah, minus 15 learnability. Homely comfort. Jolly driller. Smelly food. Nasty food. Yeah. But we are we are going to be on the road anyway. So that's good. So and by the way, you'd see still this the the whitish, yeah. So that's uh, I did quite some research here on this question, and that is uh, with a near certainty um, a bad GPU driver. Uh, so and as I said, I I went back three I rolled back three GPU driver versions, highly annoying, especially as I had to put in all my old settings again so and for example cyberpunk looked horrific in the beginning with the newest driver um, and i had to change everything but it still crashes like instantly once i start the game that's why that's why there are no new episodes right now um it's unplayable basically it's very sad like really sad so let's get into the car and drive and i think we are actually driving here on this side and firstly, we go to Kamen Heights. So let's see that. 
traveling like that. Yeah, now we are not nauseous anymore. We get fresh air yeah, through the windows of our truck. So there, driving along the highway, a weird melody similar to the jingle of small bells rises out of nowhere. Oh. For the first few moments, we search for the source of the sound. We don't notice that someone is tailing us. The vehicle chasing us is a dirty ice cream van and the van is producing the melody. Uh, what? They are chasing us with an ice cream van. Should we fight them? Yeah. We squeeze into the driver's seat and settle ourselves comfortably behind the steering wheel. Battling fobs on the road is akin to a smash-up derby. There is no point in relying on driving skills. The outcome of this type of fight is decided by entirely different abilities. Oh, it's a car. A car battle now. Deafness 7. Wait for the enemy to close, then dodge and attack. Gut 7. Broadside the enemy's vehicle side to incapacitate its crew. Brains make a deceptive maneuver in hopes that the enemy will lose speed. Side sweep the enemy's car, aiming for its vulnerable points with perception. Collide violently with the side of your opponent's car. Hopefully their car will fall to pieces faster than ours. Oh, I don't want to actually damage our cool truck. Um, let's, well, I mean, in character it would be that we are the brainy person, right? Make a deceptive maneuver and hope that the enemy will lose speed. But actually, I would like to take them out of there, take us. So let's do this one here, deafness. Wait for the enemy to close, then dodge and attack, because that's our second thing, you know? We are smart, but also agile, especially as we're not super strong in comparison. Marking the enemy's approach, we slowly, we slow slightly, then stomp down on the gas, cutting into the body of the enemy vehicle. Manage to damage the enemy vehicle slightly, but given its original state, it's almost imperceptible. Ah. The impact is tangential, a bit of paint is stripped from one of our fenders. Ah. Well, then let's make the deceptive maneuver in hopes that the enemy will lose speed. Yeah, I don't I don't want to I thought we would shoot them or something. Why can't we shoot out of the windows? I mean we've got a heavy machine gun here. And Yoko has a new power rifle, right? Well we begin to slowly drift over to the side using the turn signal just in case. We indicate our willingness to surrender and when the fobs begin to slow we unexpectedly hit the gas and make a break for it, okay? So far we haven't been able to throw the enemy off our trail of our tail. The fops are screaming, honking and throwing junk at us while pushing their jalopy to the limit. Beat bed up engine billowing smoke, their rusty red rod still stubbornly pursues us. Okay, now it's a car chase. Well, we are a pretty good driver, right? Let's drive at the limit of human ability. As luck would have it, we are passing through a heavily damaged section of highway. We are forced to slow down to avoid destroying the car's suspension in a pothole. We look back, a good hundred meters separate us from our pursuers now. All right, let's still drive at the limit of human ability. We are as good as that, right? We are so good. Luckily for us, the road ahead is smooth and clear. Under these conditions, we have an advantage over our opponent's vehicle. Looking in the rearview mirror, we see the fobs are still kicking up dust in their red rods, but they are far, far behind. I thought it was just one ice cream truck. Well, if you keep driving at the same speed, you'll, you'll, you'll soon lose them completely. Very good. Let's still drive at the limit of human ability. The asphalt section of the highway ends abruptly and hot. Hood flapping, the car is now driving down a dusty lane. The road twists and turns between stony hills, then, as if mocking us, runs into a dense and thorny thicket. Well, then downshift and step on the gas to force our way through the bushes. Death proof 70. The shrubs crackle violently, but our vehicle moves inexorably forward while crunching through the thin branches. Looking in the rearview mirror, we realize our pursuers have fallen hopelessly behind, continuing our way. Well, I hope our truck is still okay. But we got some good extra experience here, nice. 105 experience per thing and 74. Very nice indeed. drive like there. 
checking this one out and then on the way around oh there's something through the dusty windshield we see a man walking slowly along the road his appearance is rather unusual the man is wearing an old-fashioned chronos uniform that looks surprisingly fresh and new hearing an approaching engine noise he stops and turns around looking at our car he looks a bit lost we are not running him over stop and get out of the car Oh yeah. Hey, me and Carla Mansfield met twice. The first time was at a conference in Sao Paulo back in 72. The dome development was already in full swing and there was a lot of controversy in the community about intertemporal travel. Carla vehemently denied the full relationship between space and time and even called Tobinsky a wanker theorist in one of the backstage conversations. The second time we met was here under the dome and Carla had a very different perspective on the continuum. I was tempted to ask what had changed her views, but I knew there would be no answer. Michael Pickman for the record 75. Ah mm -hmm. oh, yeah, lonely travelers camp. Ah oh, yeah, so hello there. Let me just check something first, you know, I, I can't... I can't. I just can't not do that. Let's look what he has in his pockets, this guy. Ah, oh, yeah. But actually nothing that we really would need or anything, so... Well, let's just come along. Like, or also, let's check the location first. Let's do that. Let's sneak around. Although he might have heard our vehicle, but he's maybe waiting for us now or something. Yoko, do you see anything? No? Well. Well, that's a nice little pond at least, so, and well. Then, well, let's come out of hiding here, so. Hello there, oh yeah, hello. Hello. Oh, good day. Good day, good sir. Hello there. Telama. Glad to meet you. He stares at us with a slightly be bewildered look. Uh, wow, you are you are the second person I've met in the last couple of days. The last one was, uh, well, you know, weird. Eyes all white, twitchy. Was he sick or something? The traveler nods but doesn't offer to shake hands. Telama, I'm, uh, you know, I've never seen anything more beautiful than the dome in my life. It's a special place, that's for sure. I was so happy when my application was approved. Basically, I was on the spire at the end of August. Hell knows what happened next. The earth shook, I saw a funnel cloud approaching, and then I ended up here. He looks around helplessly. Oh, well, we should explain what happened to the world. Oh, and we could actually... Uh, we could give him some advice. Well, I don't think that he should pretend to be a fop. But I guess, like, the, who, whichever faction we uh, recommend, they will probably be happy about that. I think the, the picnic. You just go to the picnic. And the, that's also, like, I think he will be in, in good hands there. Go to the picnic. Telamar ponders our advice. Hmm, okay. This means we can't leave the dome, the spires collapse, and we've been left to our own devices. These people from picnic, they sound all right. I'll probably go see them. Yeah, do that. This is all damned unexpected, for sure. Thanks for your help. Without you, I'd have had been figuring things out for a long time. Happy trails. He waves goodbye and leaves. Well then, see you later. Oh yeah, we've got five wrapped with the picnic, indeed. Let's check that one. Picnic. Oh, you've sent a lost traveler to the neutral zone. Residents of the picnic appreciate your choice. By the way, oh yeah, I was I, I was really thinking like, uh, didn't I see that before? And yeah, so maybe maybe we should send some people around to other places. Well, and actually, I also think we should probably go to the fox camp at some point. But I want to... What is that? What kind of noise is that? Oh, there's a large container there. Um, we didn't see any any secrets though. Huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's check it out. Going into the water here. Oh yeah, nice, some grease. Okay, grease is relatively scarce, as we know. So, well then, save the game. So the, the maelstrom causes a lot of uh, anomalies, of course. So I guess this is not the first person, uh, the last person that we will run into. But it's good to come and hide and bring the battle chest to the sky. No, that was the... What, what, are we go, what are we supposed to do at Kamen Heights? The battle chest is from Kamen Heights. Are we in the wrong place right now? Let me just check. No, the, it was to the picnic, the battle chest. Yeah, Aaron Melville. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, no, sorry, I was confused. The thing most precious. Tribute to the memory. Yeah, that's the dog tags. And we have the floppy disk. Okay. And staying connected. Cooperation above all else. But that was for the... Uh, for the... Um, what was the name again? Like for the project. The Mackie told us that he really needs the new community employee database. We gave... yeah. Yeah, hmm. Well, what is there something that we didn't see? Such a long database already. Well, there's something here. What? What is it? Now there are the Kokitus, fourth group prevalence anomaly, fifth class hazard, presumed function refrigerated warehouse, security system element, cooling system element. Temperature differences range from 0.2 to 223 Kelvin. Oh, C radiation detected, so that's actually intense. Well, so I think that actually there are no other quests here, so... Uh, that was wrong. I wanted to go via the picnic, actually. That was the thing. <laughs> well, let's, let's just imagine. Oh, uh, well. Let's go here then. So let's drive around because we have Yoko around as well. Let's drive like this. And then we're checking out these unknowns there. Anything there? Here. There. Enter location Barons. It is generally accepted that the search for one's true self is quite challenging in our times. This technological singularity, the cyberstorm of daily scientific and technological revolutions, furiously spinning like the samsara wheel, works hard to distract us from ourselves. In turn, I affirm that the only possible path to true self-awareness is through total immersion in this whirlpool. Cyber Sativa by Yutha Jones. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this here, Barons? Anomaly Burden. What's that? Third group prevalence anomaly, third class hazard, presumed function, mental functions modulator, security system element, laboratory unit probably. Affects the ability of cells to absorb oxygen and produ produce ATP. Oh, goodness. That sounds bad. What's that? Oh, it's super fatigued. Oh, the, the Volpers just fall. There is something here. Oh, oh, a painted servo shell. Someone fell over. And he's got the United States, the proud United States colors there, this guy. Well, fortunately, we have a robot girl with us, actually. That was like a nice coincidence. What's what's happening? Fatigue plus 10. Oh, we need to get out of here. So let's save the game. Yoko, run forward. And we are actually... Can we actually go, go back here? Maybe there? 
Cheerful Jack. I don't I don't want to have the Yeah, the wall pass. Let's firstly run around with Yoko. Um, to see if there's anything here. It's actually... But we're outside of the, of the uh, zone of effect, right? Yeah. And Yoko being a robot lady slash girl. Oh, there is something. But we're doing that uh, with our hardball due to the luck and stuff. Well, let's just check this. Did we actually... Secret discovered. Yeah, very nice. Good. Check this out. Another one. Very good. Because... Yeah, she's not getting any fatigue. That's excellent. And we have 12 perceptions. So... Um... If there's anything, she will find it. We can also just, well, slaughter these poor Volpers. Oh, well, you could also argue that you can get a very good uh, sleep here. On the other hand, like, you are not going to feel too replenished here. Very dangerous situation, by the way. Such an anomaly happens. Let's run around with Yoko. Do you see anything? Maybe is there a body or something? Someone with dog tags somewhere? No. Because, like, by hitting the Alt key, I can highlight things, but uh, it doesn't work on skeletons and stuff, so they are, like, really supposed to be found. Um, via exploration. And what is this? And where does it come from? No one really knows. Ah, another one. Pile of stones. Oh. So many secrets. I love secrets. There. Yeah. And speaking of secrets, guys and gals, I mean, you won't see the video in a while because it will be in the future because I recorded a number of episodes already because uh, I really love X3 TC at the moment so much. I started and got hooked, I have to admit, due to the problems uh, with the computer and the crashes and everything. And I mean, even in case, as you know, crashed, um, which is why I'm trying to be careful, but it's, it seems to run okay now with the third last driver, yeah. Okay, I think we are good here. So Yoko, now that you are, a strong robot girl, you can do the pile of stones, right? Can you do that? Yes, you can. 60. You're not the strongest robot, but you can do it. So let's see what you find. The lock has been destroyed. Oh, yeah, good. Taking that. Ah, uh, no. Locked, yeah, of course. Oh, cool down. Well. And cheerful Jack. You don't need to sneak. Then you do this. Some crystals. Okay, you get out of there again. Oh, he's already mild, mildly fatigued. Well, wow. 
and I don't want to chew through all our uh, capsules and stuff. Oh yeah, very good, some more of that. So cheerful, you've got another one over there. Let's go there. Ah, yeah, very good. That's also outside of the zone of effect. Some crystals, all right. Wait there, Yoko. What? You, how are you doing? Oh, it's beyond her ability rank. Okay. What's that? also beyond her ability rank okay well we could also excavate this but let's rather have cheerful jack do that okay well then it's just these two here and that one we already did curious that there's nothing back there but we certainly need more of this metallic polymetallic ore But that's an interesting phenomenon, by the way. So I really like the creativity here. I wonder, I mean, I never read the book, as you know. Maybe I really should. Um, but I, I actually, I think I would rather read it after this game. Um, and then to check out what ideas they took and uh, how they actually implemented everything. Yeah, well, so I guess it's time that we are actually going in there. So cheerful, you've got something here. Oh, it's also, it's too much for him, huh? Oh, come on, cheerful, what's going on here? But, well, he can, uh, he can use the shovel then. Although no, just a second. No, then, then we need to do it. Okay, ah, well, then we need to do it. And we also want to eat a cookie. So let's eat the cookie. Lucky cookie. There you go, saving the game. And then we go in. We have even 120, okay, let's do that. Sneaking to maximize our experience gain. And I'm particularly interested. Ah, oh, yeah, very good, some more. Mild fatigue, where's the other one there? Ah, oh, crap. Well then, let's check the other things first. So there's a relic case. And it's servo shell. Oh, he's got something. Uncle Sam color scheme. The flag of USA paintwork scheme for servo shell. All right, nice. Why is this on cooldown? Look at that. Oh, what? How how come we are already? Oh. Well then, Yoko. Well, I'm glad that we actually have Yoko around. What? We were just mildly fatigued there. Well, that's... that's Well, that's how you get yourself killed, by the way. Um, well then, put, put some Anagorn into our mouth. Hardball. Uh, uh, and she, oh well, why is it so much? Okay, well, I need to reload, I think. I need to reload and uh, eat it quicker. And I also need to ready the... 
the inner gone. Where is it actually? Don't we have Anagon at the ready? Well, I would argue that Anagon is more important than the Molotov cocktail, so put it there. And how much fatigue do we have? 300, yeah. Well then. And then let's go around. Oh, well, let's actually, let's firstly get the military great med kit up there. Uh, did I did I actually eat the lucky cookie? Yeah, I did. Good. Yeah, three and are gone. Well, very good. Then pile of stones. Fours. No need for the shovel then. Fatigue plus 100, okay, good. And I run. Ah, we need to put it on ourselves, huh? Good, well then. Take this one and be quick. Oh well, I can't. Then painted servo shell, this guy. Oh yeah, here it's more extreme. Take, take all, let's eat another one, pop. Why is, why can't it uh, be block picked? And all at once, so I think It was like a lot, but well. Well then, Yoko. You come around. And put some pre-chewed Enagon pills into our mouth. Huh? That is certainly not healthy here. And also, how about some coffee? You put some coffee in the mouth and some Enagon. Let's run away, I think. Oh. Okay, well, this actually, I think we, we can't do this. We can't do this. Yoko needs to do everything, which is a bit sad. And there he is. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, now then. This this is Yoko's job, but I'm glad that we have the robot girl um, to do that. So we can actually do the the pile of stones over there. But then Yoko, you go in. Yeah, and by the way, we don't need to maximize the experience like that anyway. So he scan him, please. That's Dietrich Holtz. Blackwing Search Party Scout. Acute dehydration. Message received. This is unprofessional, Karen. This is unprofessional. You call a hundred square meter area approximate coordinates. What does near the fourth stone mean? Are you kidding me? Which of the dozens of stones in this area should I call the fourth? Get this into the protocol. 10, 12 a.m. 77. Employee D holds. Begin excavation. Temperature 32 degrees Celsius. Karen, answer me ASAP. Karen, please reply as soon as you get this message. I'm in trouble. I can't even be sure the message went through. The connection is bad. Every word is a struggle. Please hurry. Oh, goodness. Poor guy. Well. And he's got a Primus helmet. And the Volpa. Yeah, well, let's collect that. There's a guard Volpa. 
This type of Volpo loves to attack its victims from behind. The colony performs the function of a scout and a hunter. Well, Yoko. This type of Volpo loves. To, yeah, well. We actually. Wrong target. Yeah, I mean, it would certainly be very unkind, right, to kill it just like that, but well. Guard Volpa. Well, they wanted to eat something, I guess, but they are not. They are not here for too long. Okay, then the Rally Case. Painted Servo Shell. I'm not sure if we need to read this, but let's take it. Well, and then we've got the relic case. Can she actually dig it? Yeah, then you dig it then. Take all. And... Oh yeah, well, we, we could actually take the uh, med kit up there. But I fear we need to get in because Yoko is not strong enough and there are also no other options. I wonder why we are not allowed to lockpick this one but only force it open. But now I'm really curious. That must be something very interesting. Saving the game. And he said by the fourth pile. Yeah, why did he? Oh, it, uh, in interrupted, huh? Sorry about that. Clicking there interrupted uh, us opening up this pile of stone. So, sorry, I forgot about uh, this here. Well, then here we, we grenade. It's 119. So, let's sneak in. Actually, let's run in because it's quicker. Pile of stone there. Sneaking, forcing open, yes, do it and quickly. I think it's actually adding up more fatigue. Oh, just some dust, well. And stop, come on, run, run out of there first. Then how much did we accumulate? Oh my goodness, 600. Well. And are gone. And how much is actually, what does the coffee do? Uh, I always forget to click on ourselves here. So there. 300. So let's drink a coffee. And it's 173. Saving the game. And then we run into the relic case here. Running there. 248. Popping an Energon. Sneaking. Forcing the relic case open. Come on and be quick. Oh, well, actually, that's not super. Stop sneaking, run out of there. Well, then, 
So I guess we got everything. But that was actually like not worth the effort. Not really. Now we are super fatigued. But well, at least we got it. So we solved the riddle, basically. Like, what is there? What is this? Yoko. Can you actually scan anything? So there is something here. This thing? No, that's just a turbine or something. Well. Yeah, well then, so that's it. Two, two casualties here. Plus this guy. Well, okay then, single shot on the Volper. Another one. Shotgun pellets are inside of it. Well, yeah. Well, but that's actually like that was a cool uh, situation here. But let's get out of here and quickly. And maybe we should actually pop one more energon. So let's get out of here, guys and gals. Get in the car and drive away. So, interesting. Saving the game. Let's drive down here. That was exhausting, wasn't it? Oh, our car radio loses the signal, but immediately picks up another, as if we pass into the broadcast radius of a different station. The lively rock and roll jingle is replaced by the equally cheerful voice of the host. And here we are again with the pirate radio station Jolly Roger. The truth, the whole truth, and none of the bull. We're not the NC, we ain't gonna lie to you. By the way, how are things in the committee? Let's have a look. Oh, a little bird told me that all out surveillance will soon be introduced. The management is spending an enormous amount of funds installing new cameras and optimizing computer systems. All this, of course, under the guise of combating espionage by illegal groups like the Phalanx. But you and I know the real reasons. Power. Control. Which is ironic, given the inefficiency and corruption of the NC. Them Silvers and Blacks ain't gonna fight themselves, right? Fighting your own citizens is obviously far more attractive in terms of career prospects and power gain. You've been listening to a Jolly Roger Blitz episode. Stay tuned. Okay, well, continue on our way. Travel there. So, and, oh, there's another unknown. We are mightily fatigued. Well, let's do that one then. Saving, saving the game. Let's go here. Secret test site. Oh. Servo shell. This is it. The weapon of the future. It can turn even a geek from the wide wing into a formidable opponent, at least at first glance. One thing is bad, Bow, it does not exclude the human factor, you know? How do I explain it? A green newbie is still a green newbie, even if you give him the most advanced weaponry. Combat experience is indispensable. Bruce Sims, Blackwing. 1976 interview. Secret test site. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, and there's someone. Strange servo shell. Guys, hunker down. Oh, there are two of these. Oh, they want, they probably want the human factor. Oh, it's a big one. What can we see? It's a big, oh, it's a really big compound here. Interesting. Okay. Well. Well, looking at the time, actually, I think we should rather end the episode here. But that is actually an interesting location that we stumbled upon. Um, well, and I think we see what happens next in the next episode then. That's pretty cool. And I wonder what we will encounter here. That looks like, however, like they improvise some form of defense here. 
post-apocalyptic car wall. But they, they have been assaulted as well, I think. Yeah, quite interesting. Quite interesting, but only from the front, well, and from the back as well, huh? Oh, there's someone. Person lying there, okay. Well, we'll see what happens. But that we will see in the next episode. Many thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. I really like NK. It's a very cool game. If you like more science fiction and you like spaceship guys and gals, then I not only recommend Battlestar Galactica, which you can also find on the channel, but also the unique game. There's nothing like it. The X series. X3 Terran Conflict. I'm playing it at the moment and it is awesome huge and i like it i really love it like i love encased so check it out see you next time and if you want to share any thoughts feelings tips and tricks or anything in the comment section please do so you are very welcome and don't forget to hit the subscription bell icon so you never ever miss an episode again and i would appreciate your like as well see you next time Bye bye